lot of you may think you know what this is. Pot, weed, but we like to call it cannabis. We asked some people around school some tough questions about everyone's favorite plants. Uh, would you consider cannabis probably uh, like, uh, 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 because I feel like people have seen things on that drug. That's all I know. Well, cannabis, when you directly take it, gives you short term hallucinations and short term memory loss. You should be watching the last video of the podcast. Oh, I thought you said cannabis. <laughs> Ava, what do you think the long term effects of cannabis? Um, my best guess would be that it deteriorates parts of your brain. There are three categories of drugs stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens. The biggest misconception is that no one knows what category cannabis falls into. But in reality, cannabis is a mild hallucinogen. The cannabinoids, or the yellow structures in the triangle shape, are within our body already. The cannabis drug uses the chemical THC, which acts as an agonist because it is extremely close in structure to the green triangles, or the cannabinoids. Therefore, the cannabinoid receptor lets the THC into the neurotransmitter. Some short-term psychological effects include hallucinations, paranoia, strange behavior, or psychosis, short-term memory problems, and a sense of personal identity. Some physiological short-term effects include an increase in heart rate, lowered reaction time, and a risk of stroke. The biggest long-term effect cannabis can have on you is the impact of permanent brain damage. Thank <laughs> you.